Hi guys, here's a quick recap of what happened previously in The Pleasant Family. Mary Sue came home early from work one day to find Daniel cheating with the maid, Kaylin Langerak. It just took a little smooth talking from Daniel, and she soon forgave him and agreed to woohoo with him again. Shortly after that, Mary Sue found out she was pregnant with the couple's third child. Angela and Lilith went off to college, which left the household much more peaceful. Mary Sue adopted a little puppy she named Benny, and he aged up to be a large dog who looks much like a collie. The third child was born, a little boy they named Ivan Pleasant. He looks exactly like Mary Sue. Ivan aged up to a toddler, and then he aged up to an adorable child who loves sports and is very active. Meanwhile, Daniel had a second affair with Nina Caliente behind Mary Sue's back. Hi guys, welcome to episode 36 of my Pleasant View Let's Play. Now that you're all caught up on what happened previously in the Pleasant family, we can get started. Um, today is tax day for the Pleasants. They have a net worth of 72,000 simoleons. 10% um, of that is 7,200, but they get three different deductions, one for having a dependent under the age of 18, they get a 1,000 simoleon deduction for being a married couple and 1,500 for being a homeowner. So this brings their total tax bill to $4,200. And as you can see, they only have $1,900. I'm going to try to prevent them from taking out a tax loan. And they have a lot of art around their house, so I think the Pleasants are going to have to sell some of their art. Um, t in order to pay their tax bill. And I know that they have this mask over here that's worth, it's worth 2900 so we're going to sell that. That is unnecessary. And that gives them enough to pay. That's all they had to sell this time. But I'm going to go ahead and sell this other mask to give them a little bit more money. And let me find Daniel. I don't know where he is. Here is Ivan getting out of bed. Daniel is outside swimming <laughs> in the pool at 6 a.m. He needs to come in and pay the tax bill. Okay, the tax bill has been paid. Daniel has about an hour to get ready for work. So I'm going to send him down to get some breakfast. Oh, it looks like they just got, oh man, they just got a bunch of money. Uh, because Herb and Coral died and left Mary Sue an inheritance. So now they have 16000 so I guess I could have waited a little while and they wouldn't have had to sell that art, but that's okay. It didn't really match their house anyway. I'm not too sad about it. Um, while they are getting ready... Okay, stop kissing each other. Daniel and Mary Sue with ACR just cannot keep their hands off each other. While they're getting ready, I want to look at their relationships because last time I played Nina Caliente, she had an affair with Daniel. So it looks like Daniel has three loves now. He's still in love with Kaylin, Mary Sue. Wow, he and Mary Sue have three bolts. Did I not notice that before? I don't remember them having three bolts, but they do. And uh, he also has three bolts with Nina. So he is in a relationship with two other women behind Mary Sue's back. He did try... He tried his best to uh, be faithful to Mary Sue, but he just couldn't do it. He does love her very much, but he's just, as a romance sim, he is incapable of being faithful. And he didn't get any breakfast because he couldn't keep his hands off Mary Sue. Uh, Mary Sue also kissed another sim at Herb and Coral, or at Deborah's birthday party. Uh, right in front of Daniel, and Daniel did not care. So we're going to take that as her revenge kiss to get back at him for cheating on her with Kaylin. Um, I think she kissed Freddie Farmer, although they have no romantic feelings for each other. It was just like a heat of the moment thing that she did, so we're not going to pursue that or anything. She doesn't want to cheat on Daniel. She just wanted to sort of get back at him. So now everybody is going off to school and work. We have four days until Ivan becomes a teenager. Daniel will be aging up to an elder in seven days. Everybody's ages are Daniel is 53, Mary is 50, Mary Sue is 52, and Ivan is 7. Okay, everybody's home from work. The Pleasants make quite a bit of money. 
Uh, Mary Sue is a city council member. She makes 679 simoleons. Daniel is a coach, and he makes 1,750. And now that they got that big um, life insurance settlement from the oldies dying, they are pretty much set for money. Of course, the first thing Daniel wants to do when he gets home is woohoo, so I have directed him to woohoo with Mary Sue in the bed, not on the couch like they like to do. Mary Sue wants to earn 9,000 simoleons. I'm going to lock that in for her. It shouldn't take her long to accomplish that. But let's check on Ivan. Okay, this is Angela's old room, which we need to remodel into an office for the family. He wants to reach body level 3. I'm going to move his homework into his room over here. And I'm going to buy one of my little desk choosers. And I'm going to have him claim this desk, and then I'm going to need another light over here. Okay. Alright, and now he can jump rope for a little bit get his fun up, get a body skill point. It's now 6 p.m. on Monday and Daniel has turned 54, Mary Sue is 53, and Ivan is 8 years old. Right now Ivan is teaching Benny how to come here because all of his wants were to teach the dog a command. Well, that's adorable. I love this dog. He's so cute. He's like a collie. Mary Sue and Daniel are, um, well, they were over here flirting with each other, kissing each other. She's serenading him now. She wouldn't be serenading him if she knew that he just had an affair with Nina, but... Let's check out what they want to do. So he wants to be friends with Jay. I'm going to have him call up Jay and talk to him. Mary Sue wants to serve food, talk about her hobby, and hustle pool. She also wants Benny to get a job. Let's find Jay here. She wants Benny to get a job in showbiz. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to do that right now. I really don't like the pets having jobs, but I'll do it if they really want it. Oh, wow. So while Daniel was on the phone with Jay Gilbert, he was networking with him, and we got a pop-up that said, Hey, I heard you were working in the athletic career. Small world. I know a few friends that work in the athletic career, and I'm going to let them know that you're the real deal, Daniel. You deserve higher wages than that career from now on. Yes, so he just got a raise. He's going to make even more money now. That is awesome. It is Tuesday at almost 10 a.m. Mary Sue and Ivan are at work and school. Daniel has the day off today. He went for a jog this morning, had some breakfast, and he has a want to make out with five different sims. So we're going to try to make that come true for him. Um, I'm looking at his relationships, and it looks like Paulette Green is the sim that he has the most chemistry with and the highest relationship with. I believe that he met her downtown when we saw him on the lot when we were playing Don Lothario. So, he's going to call her up and talk to her, maybe try to get the relationship a little bit higher, and he wants to ask a sim on a date. He got the relationship up to 40 over 23. He's now calling Paula to ask her on a date, and we'll see what she says. Oh, she's not home. Okay, let's see. Who else can we try? Andrea Hogan is the next sim that he has chemistry with. So let's call her. Oops. I'm just going to call her and ask her. 
right right off out of the gate and see what she says. It looks like she said yes. So they're going to go to a community lot. Um, he'll take the car. Daniel brought Andrea Hogan down to Midnight Flows downtown. Um, Cassandra is here, which is very bad because she's Mary Sue's best friend. And she's obviously going to see Daniel cheating. Um, she thinks Daniel's hot, though, so that's something. Andrea did not bother to get dressed up for this date. She's wearing this god-awful mascot uniform, so good job, Andrea. Well, while Daniel and Andrea were on their date, this townie decided to sing some karaoke. And Daniel was up there dancing to support him, but now he's going to do a school cheer for Andrea. He wants to dance with her, but I'm not getting the option for them to dance together. I don't know why. And that's pretty much all he wants to do. And all she wants to do, except for have a pillow fight, but they can't do that either. Oh yeah, they can now. Oops. So I guess they can have a pillow fight at the karaoke bar. Oh, she wants to sing a duet with him. So as soon as this guy gets done, they are going to sing a duet together. They kicked that townie off of the karaoke machine so that they could sing a duet together. Oh man, it's bad too. Daniel's terrible. <laughs> Oh boy, Daniel, that is some awful singing. <laughs> I love the karaoke machine, that's hilarious. They're just belting it out, they didn't even have a drink first. Looks like they have become friends though, so maybe some more interactions will unlock for them. He wa she wants to kiss him. Andrew is a better singer than him, but she's not very good. Oh boy, you guys, I just saw his daughter in the background. I just saw Angela. Angela is here. She is totally going to see her dad cheating on Mary Sue. But they don't have, they have an okay relationship. I mean, it's not in the negative. I think they might have to leave this place and go somewhere else. Uh, since his do both his daughter and Cassandra are here, and it's going to look really fishy if he starts making out with Andrea. So they are going to finish up their duet, and they are going to head to another lot. Daniel took Andrea to the hub downtown. It looks like John Burb just showed up here as well. Uh, but he doesn't really matter too much. At least none of his relatives are here. This is a pretty nice lot, and I don't think that I've been here before. I've taken any of my sims here before. So let's find out what they want to do. They only have a minute and 50 seconds left. She wants to make out with him, which is was Daniel's ultimate goal, was to make out with another sim. So we're going to see. I'm going to have them come um, over here. No, that's the dartboard. So let's have them come down here in the dance floor. Get out from behind the bar. He's thinking about how hot she is, so now would be a good time to kiss her. Oh, and he just got a crush on her, and she got a crush on him at the same time. Alright, they're now making out, and Daniel's goal... Well, this will actually be the fourth sim, so he's going to have to get another sim before he gets this goal um, realized. 
But Andrea is number four. And they are now having a dream date, which is, he also has a want to have a dream date with Andrea. So I think this would be a good place to end the date, especially because he's getting pretty tired and he's already in platinum, so there's not really any point in just standing here dancing with her more. So he's going to end the date. And she said that was the best time that she ever had with anybody. Oh, now he wants to woohoo. Well, I wonder if he can get her back to his house. He's going to ask her back to his place. Even though they're not on the date anymore. And she said yes, so he's going to bring her back to his house and woohoo with her, hopefully before Mary Sue gets home. Alright, Daniel and Andrea are back at his house. It's 11.35 a.m. Mary Sue gets off work at 3, so he still has a little bit of time. Lucy Hanby, the maid, is here, but she's just going to keep her mouth shut about this if she wants to keep getting paid. <laughs> so, they're going to woohoo. Um, let me see. In the bed. Because he wants to woohoo in bed. Alright, they're still working up to it. They're gonna make out now. Daniel is such a pig. But he only has one more lover to go to get to his goal of making out with five different sims. Alright, here they go. Wow, Daniel was like inside the bed. That was weird. <laughs> I don't know what was going on with their bedding there. Okay, well... He is going to send her home now. Now he wants to woohoo with five different sims. Uh, that will give him even more aspirations. So we're going to lock that in instead. And he wants to do a public woohoo. That's enough woohooing for today. He's going to say goodbye to Andrea. Mary Sue will be home in about an hour and a half. So Andrea's got to go. Well, Mary Sue just got home from work and I've been home from school and Andrea was here dropping off some flowers for Daniel, but I don't think she's going to realize what's happening. We're going to get these flowers out of the way right now. And Mary Sue didn't seem to notice. She was too busy hugging Ivan. So he got away with it this time again. And the first thing Mary Sue's going to do is go in and kiss Daniel. It just makes me so sad like she missed him so much. She's going in to see him right away and he's just had another woman in their bed and she doesn't even know. That's romance sims for you. I'm just waiting for him to get caught again. I don't think she would forgive him again. I think she would probably divorce him if she caught him cheating again. Alright, you guys need to get out of the way so that Ivan can watch TV. It's 6 p.m. and we have only two days before Ivan's birthday when he is going to age up to a teen. So, let's see, Daniel's now 55, Mary Sue is 54, and Ivan is 9 years old. Oh, and Benny has learned the command, come here. Uh, Ivan successfully taught him to come here. Now he just wants to age up well. 
uh, Mary Sue and Daniel decided to go and woohoo on their own again. I don't know how Daniel has so much stamina. He's constantly woohooing. It's Wednesday afternoon. Ivan just got home from school and he brought uh, David Dreamer over to play. They're not in the same generation, but that's okay. And he's still leaving his homework down here. I don't know. It's like hit or miss with this mod. Like sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. Don't understand it. All right, he, so Ivan desperately needs fun. I'm gonna send him in to watch a movie with David. It's now 6 p.m. on Wednesday, and Daniel has turned 56, Mary Sue is 55, and Ivan is 10. Well, it looks like I screwed up ages again. I have got to stop using the freezer clock because I screwed everybody's ages up by freezing time. So Ivan is actually 11, and he's gonna be 12 tomorrow. He's supposed to be 11 today, so not doing that anymore. It is now Thursday morning, almost 10 a.m. Daniel's gone for his morning jog, had his breakfast. He's all ready to go. Um, Mary Sue and Ivan are off at work in school, and Daniel is off of work again today. So I think this would be a good day for him to pursue his dream of woohooing with five different sims. So I'm just going to look at his relationships and see. Uh, we can try Paulette again. She might be at work. Let's call her and find out. No, she's not home. She must be at work. So he's going to have to try somebody else. And I'm not sure there's anybody else that he knows. Uh... He has like one bolt with all of these women. Wow, he has two bolts with Cassandra, but she does not like him. Probably because she knows about his cheating. Still hates Dustin. And does not have a good relationship with Lilith either. But that doesn't matter for our purposes now. Um, he has one bolt with a maid. And they have a relationship of 28 over 9. So maybe he will try and talk to the maid. I think that is... A pretty reasonable thing that Daniel would do. He already seduced their other maid and got her fired. He's going to flirt with her and see if she is receptive. Alright, here he goes to try and flirt with her, and it looks like she's cool with it. He's going to pursue her relentlessly while she's supposed to be doing her job. And then Mary Sue's going to come home and say, why is the house a mess? What was the maid doing all day? Daniel is now friends with Lucy Hanby. He just tipped her 25 simoleons, and he's been chatting with her. Now he's going to help her do her job, but I don't think he's going to have enough time to really get anywhere with her before Mary Sue gets home. But this is a relationship I think he's going to continue to try for because it's so convenient for him since she just comes to the house every day anyway. It's Thursday afternoon. Mary Sue and Ivan are home, so Daniel has to stop his pursuits of Lucy. Um, Mary Sue brought a friend home from work, William Gibson, and Ivan brought home Tessa Ramirez to play. Today is also Ivan's birthday. He's going to be turning 12 years old. He's going to be aging up to a teenager. But I think we're going to save the birthday party for part two. So I think this would be a good place for me to end part one of this episode. In part two, we'll be having Ivan's birthday party, inviting all of the other kids in his generation over, and he'll age up to a teen. Daniel will continue his pursuit of the maid, Lucy. Um, he went on a date with Andrea Hogan and seduced her. And now he's got four different lovers under his belt. Mary Sue has no idea about his affairs. 
Um, she did a revenge kiss to get back at him, but he didn't really care, so it didn't do any good. They're both getting older. They're actually, oh, they're actually going to go woohoo right now. Wow. Um, Daniel is going to be an elder soon, and we'll probably see that in our next part as well. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload new videos. You can also visit my blog at PleasantSims.com if you're interested in any of the mods I use, my gameplay rules, or if you want to see my sim profiles and family trees. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you with part two of this video very soon.